Hello YouTube, I'm Oslav Friedi from DigiTube and I'm back with another video. So in this video we are going to be talking about the MacBook Air that just came now and the MacBook Pro that was released in 2017. We are going to be comparing both of them and then we will decide which is the best option. Okay, so first of all, both of them are really good looking. So if you buy any of them, you will get into the MacBook zone and you can have a laptop in the Starbucks having the Apple logo so yeah you're gonna get into the zone but there are some pros and some cons in the new MacBook Air that I'm going to discuss now and I have a few reasons why the MacBook Pro 2017 is better than this one so I just said this right now because I do not want to waste time and saying the same thing at the end of the video so if you just want your time to be saved I'm gonna tell you that the MacBook Pro 2017 is a better option because the new MacBook Air features the new screen yeah that is present in the 2017 versions but that is not a big issue because both of them are same the MacBook Air in the past had very large bezels those were really bad but this time you know the bezels are really great and are good looking but the main issue comes in the processor the MacBook Air has a 1.6 8th generation processor, Core i5, but for a device as the MacBook Air and the price, I think that's good. But if you look at the MacBook Pro 2017, the features 2.3 GHz Core i5 7th generation. So there is a big difference in the GHz and that really matters, but we are going to take this to benchmark tests. So as you can see right here, the MacBook Air scores lower than the MacBook Pro. Then we have the RAM. We have no issue with the RAM. We get 8 GB at starting and we also get 128 GB of starting storage. So that's not a big deal, but the issue comes in the work side. The graphics on the MacBook Pro are better than on the MacBook Air. So why not spend more and buy the MacBook Pro, which is Pro. It makes you professional so if you buy the macbook air that keeps limiting you so why not buy a pro device the macbook air is not a bad device at all but you know but if you compare it to the pro you know then things get a little bit tough because the competition is very high and people are gonna get confused with this till now we knew the macbook air as a thin device that is why people liked it but if you look at the size of MacBook Pro now, it is not as the previous. You know, the MacBook Pro already is a thin laptop. So why not buy thin laptop with Pro features? There is also another thing that I want to mention. If the MacBook Air had a USB slot, that was a Pro point. But as it doesn't has a USB, then in the ports, we do not have a difference. Two Thunderbolt 3 ports in both of them so in this case there's not so much difference and the keyboard if you like the keyboard in the previous macbook air that is already gone since we have the butterfly three keys so you have to get used to that and from my personal experience on the butterfly keys on the macbook pro i really like them and now i'm so used to it that i cannot type on the other keyboards the mechanical keyboards so everything is really good on both of them but from my personal experience I would say the MacBook Pro is a better option so I hope you like this video give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more just like this peace out